Coming up on Hands on iOS, apps have changed in iOS 14, or at least where they're stored. Hands on iOS is brought to you from Twit's LastPass Studios. You're focused on security, of course, but are your employees? Well, LastPass can ensure that they are by making access and authentication seamless, whether employees are working in the office or remotely. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to learn more. This is Twit. This episode of Hands on iOS is brought to you by Peak Design. They've just launched their 10th campaign on Kickstarter, Mobile by Peak Design. To learn more, go to peakdesign.com slash twit. App organization and storage has changed just a bit in iOS 14. Instead of storing everything in folders, as we have in years past, there is a new way of storing, organizing, and finding your apps. It's called App Library. This is Apple's take on, well, what's a lot like Android, where I can swipe up from the bottom on my Android phone and see my entire library of apps I have installed on my device. So instead of having to stash everything in different folders, you can just head to the app library and see your apps installed from A to Z, plus a few more changes that make it even better. Let's take a look. First things first, we've got to get to the app library. So to do that, we swipe over to the left until we get past our screens that we have on our phone. Keep going, almost there, almost there, almost there, and boom, oh, one more. Now we are in the app library. This is the app library, and as you can see, it has different categories. That's the first thing that you have to know is that instead of you having to fool around with a bunch of different categories, figuring out how you want to uh, store your apps, where you want to store your apps, and everything in between, you can just use the app library to let it be categorized and stored for you. I love this because I got tired of having to constantly figure out how I wanted my apps installed and where, and so each of these folders is done for you. Uh, The first one in the top left is one of the most important, and that is the suggestions bar, or the, the suggestions folder. With the suggestions folder, what you can do is see a list of apps that the app that the phone thinks you would be interested in launching at any given time. Now, Apple says that it uses things like time, location, or activity to figure out what apps it should suggest to you. So what does that mean? Well, using Siri, which Apple uses to describe both its machine learning engine and the the virtual and digital assistant, it starts to understand how you use your device. So over the course of, you know, a month, it sees, oh, this person typically at this time opens up this app, looks at this app, checks this thing, and can start to offer you some apps that you might be interested in launching sort of before you even think of it yourself. So if you're in the car, if you're out and about for some reason, uh, or if you're at home, the apps that you use at those times in those places it can suggest apps based on that. Now, each of these apps is a tap target, meaning that if I tap on one of these four apps, just specifically in the suggestions area, it's going to launch that app from this spot. So that's gonna be a little bit different from something else that I'll show you here in a second, where you have some tap targets, but some tap targets are not the case. So. This is where things get different. You can see in the top right, I have a recently added category and then social utilities, etc. If you have one of these uh, folders that has three apps in the top right, the top left, and the bottom left, but a series of four apps in the bottom right, then you need to understand that the three apps, the bigger ones in each of these folders, those are tap targets too. So I could launch one of these and by, by tapping on it and it will take me to that page. So for example, in utilities, if I tap on the blue app store button, it will launch the app store for me. I can swipe back out of there and come back to this. But if I tap on the bottom right corner, that area where we have the four apps, it will actually launch a bigger screen showing me some of the other apps I recently added to my device. 
So that is a little bit different, meaning that any of those little tap targets down there, you can tap on to bring up uh, a bigger screen that has more of the social apps that you have installed, for example. Now, with the automatic categorization, that means, again, you don't have to worry about kind of finding those, and you can easily see which ones uh, you want to get access to. But as I mentioned, this goes a little bit farther than just these categories. And just like Android, you can find apps alphabetically. So if I tap in the top where it says App Library, and you can see the search icon to the left of it, it launches the alphabetical list. Now I can either start to type in an app and find it, or I can scroll, I can put my finger down on the right side where the alphabet is and scroll through very quickly to get to the proper letter that I'm looking for, find the app that I want, and then uh, launch it by tapping on it. This is also a place where if there was an app on here that maybe I didn't want anymore, um, so let's say, Oh, this app called All Posters. I can tap and hold on that, and you can see that it gives me the option to delete the app from here. So this is one more place to access your apps after you've removed them from those typical folders that you have on your home screen. This episode of Hands on iOS is brought to you by Peak Design. Peak Design just launched their 10th campaign on Kickstarter, mobile by Peak Design. An ecosystem of cases, mounts, and accessories that make your phone a better tool for everything you do. These accessories use Slimlink, which has been added to their new everyday phone case. When paired with your mobile device, it connects with accessories, such as a wallet with a built-in kickstand, charging and non-charging mounts for your car dash, and a machined aluminum tri iPod, plus so much more. To learn more about the Mobile by Peak Design campaign and all the other amazing products, head to peakdesign.com slash twit. Support Peak Design and visit peakdesign.com slash twit. So again, we swipe all the way from the right side to the right, rather, and the farthest screen away from the one from your home screen is the one that has the app library in it. So in other words, it's always going to be past the dots that you have at the bottom. So you can see I have one, two, three, four, five dots. And the first dot is my home screen, two, three, four, five, and then one more swipe, six, brings me to the app library. So now let me show you how you can reduce the number of home screens that you have so that you can get to the app library faster if you so choose. I'll take my finger and I'm going to tap and place it on an area of the screen where there are no apps. So down here on the bottom left to the bottom right is a good place to do that. So I'll tap and hold and that launches the home screen editor or what Apple calls jiggle mode. I'll tap on the bar there at the bottom with the dots in it, the home screen indicator dots and up pops the edit pages screen. So you can see I've already got some pages deselected here. Those are pages where I have apps installed, which I don't want to have actually showing. So what I can do is deselect some of these other screens. As an example, I tap done and tap done again. And now when I go from this screen over to the right, up pops the app library automatically. So that took away all those other screens that I have. Then I tap on that bottom left uh, area again, tap on the home screen indicator to bring up my edit pages screen. And once again, I tap to bring back the screens that I want. And then I can tap done in the top right. And now those are there. One last thing to look at here. We're going to, and, and this is a feature that is uh, available in a later version of iOS, but you may be asking sort of what are the, rules around uh, showing me notifications and making some adjustments to how the apps show up. If I launch the settings app and I scroll down, you'll see the home screen option here underneath general. I'll tap on home screen and now I can choose next uh, newly downloaded apps. Do they show on the home screen? Meaning do they get added on the second page or the next page over of your home screen? 
or do they just get added to the app library, meaning it doesn't create a home screen page to install the app on? I have that second one chosen because I don't want it to create new screens. And then underneath, you can choose to show notification badges in the app library or do not show notifications in the app library. With that on, you'll get the little red badges showing you the notifications that you have for different apps. So it can be kind of an easy way to quickly see what apps have notifications that you might want to tap into. So again, that's launching the settings app and tapping on home screen and making adjustments there. Folks, that is App Library in iOS 14. It is a new way to organize and store your apps and make adjustments to your home screen to kind of clean things up if you want to. Plus, it's my way of getting out of having to organize all the stinking apps I have installed on my phone. If you want to hear more about all those stinking apps I have installed on my phone, you should definitely check out iOS Today, which I do with Leo Laporte every Tuesday. Uh, that is the show, twitch.tv slash iOS. But of course, this is Hands on iOS. If you aren't subscribed, twit.tv slash HOI will get you to a place where you can subscribe to the show in both audio and video formats on all the different podcast players, YouTube podcasts, uh, uh, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, etc. And of course, you can also watch me on YouTube, youtube.com slash hands on iOS. Don't forget to click that subscribe button, hit the little like, ring the bell, do all the things that they do. I don't know what they all are, but that will get you the show as soon as it's available. Thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Hands on iOS. I do appreciate it. And we'll catch you next time. Bye. I'm Jason Howell, host of Tech News Weekly here on Twit.tv, along with my co-host, Micah Sargent. Each and every week, we talk to people who are making and breaking the tech news. It could be journalists writing amazing tech stories. It could be experts. It could be the sources of the stories themselves, developers, you name it. We bring them onto the show, and we talk to them about why their story is resonating with the world. You can watch and subscribe by going to Twit.tv slash TNW. Make sure you do that and you won't miss a single episode. We'll see you there.